does he not get spit on the lens every time he does that intro? Guys, before you get all triggered and get all crazy in the comments down below, I am a huge fan of Peter McKinnon. Do not mislead yourselves on the title of today's video. I am merely telling you that I've looked at both cases and I found that the Pelican 1650 is going to work for me. It may not work for you. I'm definitely not a travel videographer or photographer for that matter. I'll typically use this case when I'm on the road and I wanna be able to take all my gear from point A to point B. A little over a year ago, I was definitely in the market for a camera gear backpack. And uh, I don't know, Pete, does January 14th, 2019 ring a bell? This is the Pro Tactic version two. So this is the new one. It just came out, the 450 version two. Really a big fan of this bag because of all the cargo, like all the webbing. So yeah, I couldn't afford the most expensive one, but I did, however, get the size below it. Mm-hmm. And Lord and behold, another year goes by and this. What's up everybody? Peter McKinnon here, welcome back to another video. Today is a special video. Today is a video I've been waiting to make for quite some time. All right, let's pull this out. Thumbnail. So yes, was I in the market for another backpack? Absolutely not. I needed something that I can put all my gear into and throw it around, have it weather sealed, waterproofed, 
damage proof. I wanted to be able to carry everything in one big square. So it was a very difficult decision to make. I love Peter McKinnon's products and I will explain that in just a few seconds. I just can't see spending that much money on a backpack because I'm not gonna be able to fit all my gear in it, number one. Number two, I would never want to be able to put all my gear in a backpack and wear it on my back in the first place. So the Pelican 1650 was a good fit for me. However, I was very bummed out to not be able to have the accessories that come with the Nomadic backpack. I was really digging those, so I found that I could actually order them separately. I got Peter McKinnon's battery holder. Got the Peter McKinnon cube. And I also picked up Peter McKinnon's ND filter case. Digging it, really digging it. All right, without any further ado, let me show you how I like to pack my camera gear. All right, let me go ahead and show you what I set up so far. And that's one of the great features is to be able to buy extra Trek Pack dividers. So when you eventually get more gear, you're able to readjust the Trek Pack dividers and you'll get that perfect exact fit that you need. And let me tell you, these things fit like a glove once you put them in. This right here is a tool kit that I came up with for all my odds and ends. Everybody needs a junk drawer and that's exactly what I have here. So I got some extra clamps, which are always handy, more camera plates, Allen wrench set. These are really nice. And by the way, I will make sure to list all the items down in my description below today. So if you guys have any interest in anything that I own that you'd like to own, feel free to go down into the description and check it out there. I think every videographer could use these. They're great for wrapping cables up. And that fits down inside there. And here I have my lenses. I actually got this out of another camera bag. Right now I only carry a couple. I've got the Canon 16 to 35 F4. So for now, I'm just using this camera insert to divide the two lenses, but eventually I wanna make a four lens pocket in here when I get more of the dividers. Here's my Sony 85 millimeter F1.8. That tucks down in there. And then I thought this was kind of nice just to cover them up, put it in between there. Over here is my DJI Osmo Action on a Manfrotto small tripod, very nice and handy. And then I have Peter McKinnon's Nomadic Battery Pack that holds three batteries. And I really like the stickers that he gives you. Uh, you can put that little skull icon and flip it around when the battery is dead. And that way you'll know which one you need to charge when you're out there in the field. Works really nice. I better put that back around or I'm gonna think it's not charged. All right. And that's got a really nice magnet on it. Real nice leather. Every videographer a godsend, definitely. You need gaff tape. Gaff tape is a must. You always need gaff tape in your bag. Have it always handy. And then we have the Peter McKinnon Nomadic Pouch. I'll zip that and I've got my small rig adapters, the handle, top handle with a record button. I'll be doing a review on the small rig setup most likely in December or January when I get some time. There's some cable managements there. So that all fits in there nicely. Fit it right back in here so everything does fit nice all right and the last thing that i got from peter mckinnon's nomadic series is his nd filter case i really liked it uh, i have a couple of his nds so these are really nice for out in the field as well when you're out in the sun still trying to get the six to nine right now i have just the two to five and then i have room for other filters and then some step up rings and it's got a harder case on the outside so it's really nice down in here i have my SD card case, which is also waterproof, holds my mini SDs, all my SD cards, and well, obviously most of them are in the camera right now, but this is also down in the description below. I have my DJI Osmo filters. They're variable ND filters for the DJI Osmo Action, which are very nice to have, made by Freewell. I did a video on that as well. Now, normally this is set up for a two camera compartment, obviously my Sony A7S III that I'm recording on right now, but uh, we have some sun shields from Canon and Sony in that compartment for now. But in this compartment holds my Canon 60 Mark II, which is supporting the 24 to 70 millimeter lens. So the Canon is now considered my B camera. I use it a lot for the overhead shots as my Sony a7S III has now taken over the A camera side. So that fits down in there nice. And I also grabbed some more foam from another camera case just to protect it and keep it secure inside. Okay, in here is 
my Zoom H5. Looks like a little mini guitar case, but very nice, fits it perfectly. That's my main go-to for all my XLR cables to all my microphones that I use for video. This is meant to be a field recorder, so I use it for both, and it's great for picking up sound effects when you're outside in the city or in the woods or anything like that. Then we have our Joby Gorillapod for vlogging. Then we have my VideoMic NTG, which is awesome for vlogging with. Uh, you take the Dead Cat windsock off of it and you have yourself a uh, shotgun mic, which is really small. It's a mini me. Great microphone. I also want to do a review on this when I get some time. I would love to show you guys. I mean, there, there's a lot of reviews on it already, but I'd like to give my take on it. And here's my Manfrotto Be Free Travel tripod, and I cannot brag enough about this thing. I love it. I like the ball head so much that I actually purchased three or four more of them all around the, the studio to be able to mount my camera fast. And then I have the switch pod if I want to use that for vlogging as well. And it all fits in this nice sleeve. And of course, the Rocket Air. I love the fact that it fits like a glove. It's awesome. All right, moving right along. This also is a uh, another filter for the road. If you're not using the windsock, you can just pop this on here. And uh, it's just another type of pop filter, which is nice. Down in here, I have my extra lights. This one here is an auto cube. This is another review that I really want to show you guys. I love these external lights. I use them all the time, and I'll go into more detail when I can get you that review. So there's that one there. I also have the aperture one, which is also an awesome light. The thing I love mostly about this is not only the little softbox that comes with it, but it's it's so tiny and it's magnetic. This case is nice. I picked it up on Amazon. They are meant for the Rode Wireless Go, which is really nice. Great lab mics. Another video I need to get on. I've been having so many companies send me earbuds that I've been working on those rather than the uh, camera gear stuff that I want to do for you guys. And that fits down right in there nice and snug. Now I've made this space specifically for my DJI Ronin RS2 that's coming in. Still waiting on it. So that's supposed to fit in there in its case, but it's deep enough to be able to hold these on top of it as well. This is my seven inch desk view 4K field monitor. Awesome, awesome piece. I've used this uh, outside and inside for my overheads. I use it so I can see better. A seven inch screen is such a nice size, it's perfect. And it even comes with this vlogging mount, which is really nice. And I just put that in here. I'll probably get a hard case for it, but right now I just shove it in a, a leather pouch. All right, this right here was my latest addition before I went up north, and this is really cool. This is all my cable management, which is really neat. It's got this elastic straps. They got net pockets. They got a pocket in here. You can flip this open here. I got my reading cards, memories, and I usually have more memories cards there, but right now I'm working on videos. So awesome. I will also throw this down in the description below where you guys can pick this up. But boy, is this really nice. And I think I only paid like 14 bucks for it. So worth every penny. It's even got pouches in here as well. And uh, yeah, very nice. And right there I have an extra magic arm, which is really nice with a ball head on it. So that fits down in there, it's down in there, and then that fits there. Obviously I would put my DJI, then this, then that. So that's it so far. So there you have it. That's an awful lot of gear stuffed into one compartment, and it is extremely convenient to throw it in the back of my truck and know that my gear is safe and sound. Now, I am not sponsored or endorsed by Pelican or Peter McKinnon's Nomadic Series or any of the above, but I am a huge fan, and I love to share with you guys on what I use, and I would really appreciate it if you would share with me what you guys use. So drop me a comment down below and I will be more than happy to try to get back to you as soon as possible. If any of you are interested in picking up the Pelican case or Peter McKinnon's Nomadic backpack, I will be sure to leave you an affiliate link down in the description below and where you can pick up either or. Don't forget to like and share the video as it helps my channel grow tremendously and you know I'll be seeing you in the next video.
remember, three months from this date, good things are in store for you. Why three months? <laughs>